Many parents and students alike are waiting anxiously to see when schools will be able to fully reopen. Monroe County officials say they support reopening, but that ultimately it's not their decision. Atia Collins joining us now in Rochester with much more on this tonight. Atia, what's the holdup to reopening? Well, that's exactly right, Maureen. County leaders do support reopening. They want to use CDC guidelines, which includes three feet social distancing requirements, but it's not up to the county. And the holdup is the state. They need to update their guidance to allow districts to reopen. Now, that guidance hasn't been updated since August. The current state guidance allows for schools to be open following masking, disinfection, and social distancing regulations, which includes six feet without a barrier and three feet with a barrier. The county executive and health commissioner, the Monroe County Executive and Health Commissioner, have requested the state to adopt current CDC guidance, but this is just a request as county leaders do not have the power to change state reopening guidelines. Community transmission also plays a role in the reopening of schools, but transmission in schools remains low, and leaders believe things like testing and contact tracing can be used as tools to keep schools open despite high rates of community transmission. So if we can uh, again show that while there may be increased rates in the community, but it's not finding its way into schools, then I think that we ought to have a way to keep the schools open. So I think testing is one way to accomplish that. The other would be contact tracing. But unfortunately, we just don't control schools fully reopening, but we will continue to advocate that the state move to make that happen. Vaccination rates for teachers and staff in schools is expected to improve. Leaders gave an update on numbers today. Currently, right now in public schools, over 30% of staff, over 30% of teachers have been vaccinated, a different percentage for staff. Reporting in Rochester, Tia Collins, News 8.